Robbie E. gone from Impact Wrestling. More to follow? This is BQ when I do this for the Impact Wrestling fan. Well, how about instead of focusing on those yahoos, you focus yourself on Eli Drake? So for those of you who haven't heard, it was reported this morning by a pro wrestling insider that Robbie E. had been released from the company. Upon further investigation, um, the updated story is that Robbie E. requested for his release from the company. He had not been used ever since Anthem had taken over, and he'd conducted a couple interviews here and there where it made it sound like he was, um, you know, hey, there's a few of us who aren't being featured right now, but, you know, it's a opportunity to come back bigger and better, new gimmicks, whatever. But, you know, he if you follow him on social media, which I don't, you'll see that he's kind of got some other projects and everything going on. Now, regarding Robbie E., some of you longtime listeners may remember for a short period of time, about four to five weeks, he was a part of the podcast. And I'm not going to throw anyone under the bus in respect to people who like him and uh, respect to future guests who I have on my show who like him and guests I've had on my show that like him. But I can tell you that he made this podcasting very unenjoyable for me. So uh, for me personally, um, I have no uh, feelings, good, bad, and different about uh, Robbie E's departure. Um, hopefully, he uh, finds success in whatever it is that he um, that he he moves moves forward and does. However, he's not a um, he's not a character that I I will be missing on my TV screen. I will just put it like that. But with that being said, there is a rumor now that there um, there could be some other departures coming the, the some cuts if you will and i have it on good authority that there's going to be some additional moves in a upcoming week or two so there's there's a couple that i'm um suspecting there's a couple that have been confirmed within my inner circle if you will and um you have to think about some of the names though who haven't been featured on tv pretty much at all since anthem has taken over you know, we haven't seen Bram. We saw Kingston once. We've seen very little of Marche Rocket. Um, we've seen very little of Rockstar Spud. I mean, he had um, he had some. You know, it was part of India. He was doing some uh, some tape. I'm um, sorry, some taping, some ring announcing. But um, I think it was it might have been a visa issue or something like that. But I know he hasn't been around for a while, and he kind of has this amnesia gimmick going on on Twitter that. I think a lot of us would have liked to see play out on TV. So, you know, um, hopefully he's not one of them. Um, and then we got a couple knockouts. We got Alicia and MJ, who we have not seen in uh, quite some time for a couple sets of tapings. I have to believe that um, the knockouts are probably safe from this right now. Uh, they've already had a couple departures. And um, I think they, you know, I don't think they've made a determination on those two gals yet, and especially with Alicia being Eddie's wife, I don't think it's, um, you know, one of those things where she's just going to be on the chopping block right away. But it sounds like there's going to be some cuts and uh, some wrestlers perhaps requesting their releases. And I think the writing's kind of on the wall. If you look at the roster and think, you know, who hasn't been featured, we haven't seen ODB. I would imagine she was on a short term deal anyway. But there's certain there's certain people we just haven't seen. Anthem has been, you know, uh, had taken over at the March set of tapings, and now we're rolling into October. So okay, so there's a bunch of guys missing from television. You know, another name that floats around uh, would be DJ Z, and it's different. He hasn't been featured on TV due to injury, obviously, and he took part at AAA when he teamed up with Andrew Everett. But at the same time, I still kind of have to wonder, you know, out of sight, out of mind. I know he was very close with Robbie. So um, what's going to happen there? All these names that I'm talking about, all these people I'm listing, I hope as many of them as possible are safe. Because, you know, I, I want to see what um, Alicia and MJ can do. I want to see what Kingston can do in a different role. I want to see what Bram can do. I want to see Spud play out on TV. You know, um, so we just got to see because we don't really know Jeff Jarrett's status and we don't know if it's the global force thing anymore to where Jeff is bringing guys aboard. I mean, if they're kind of going back to Impact, well, there's a few names out there that are still kind of synonymous with Impact. So we just got to see what's going to go on. You know, it's um, it's just that time of the year. It's the end of the year. It's bound for glory time. We, we just got to keep keep it glued to the Internet. 
um, and, and see what happens in the next uh, couple weeks. But sometimes the writing is on the wall if you can just look at a wrestler's Twitter account. You know, Magnus is a really good example where I was monitoring this guy's Twitter and I'm like, this guy has not even a little bit mentioned Impact. So um, one name that, man, this, this one jumps out at me a little bit. Uh, so Laurel Van Ness changed her Twitter handle to, it's Chelsea Green, I think. It used to be Impact LVN. You know, her... Description still says Impact Wrestling's Laurel Van Ness, and she's retweeting stuff about Bound for Glory and all that. So, still, that one, um, just because of the Twitter handle, catches my eye a little bit, but I really think she's one of the people they're really going to move forward with. The gimmick is great, but they haven't seen what they can do with the regular Laurel gimmick. So... Uh, in the comments, guys, let it, let me know the thoughts. Let me know let me know what you're thinking um, about Robbie, and uh, any other departures you think might be coming, and ones that you hope are not coming. Please subscribe to the channel, party people, if you haven't already. This is BQ. We're talking Impact Wrestling just about each and every day. Talk to you guys soon.